I just saw the face of God. Huh? His name is Brian Kinney. You can tell I'm gay. Well, you're here, aren't you? So what do you like to do? Do? I don't know. Watch TV, play Tomb Raider. <laughs> I'm in in bed. Oh. <sighs> this is fine. His eyes were closed. His mouth was open, a sort of smile. Like he was in another place. A beautiful place. That place was me. What are you doing? I'm killing you with kindness. Justin, do you have anything to say? I like dick. I want to get fucked by dick. I want to suck dick. I like sucking dick. And I'm good at it, too. I'll go to New York. I'll become a hustler and I'll sell my body to gross old homos. I'll give you 20 bucks. You're saving the train fare. I'm gonna throw up. I gotta vomit. Upstairs bathroom. The one for guests and drama queens. Honey, sweetie, sunshine. Just because Chris Hobbs fucking bashes me in the head, suddenly everybody wants to infantilize me. I love him more than anything else in my life. All I want is to be with him. You make a lot of tips. It's because I'm cute. Seated. I could fuck practically anyone I wanted. So I don't. And it could be how rage meets the love of his life. I thought rage didn't believe in love. <laughs> well, I don't think that. <laughs> it's not his fault, and I'm not a child. I'm turning 18 soon. That means I can vote and get married and join the army? Hopefully not in the same day. Now, why do you have to be so antisocial? I'm not antisocial. I just can't stand people. <laughs> and you're not just a pretty face. No. I got a pretty big cock as well. And I give one hell of a blowjob. Ready then? If you want to hit me, go right ahead. Only I'm not going to cry like some little faggot. And if you want to send me away, that's all right too. Because I bet more butt-fucking goes on in boarding school than in the back room of Babylon. But whatever you do, it's not going to matter. Because I'll still be your queer son. Back? Back to what? My parents don't want me. You don't want me. My life's a fucking mess, Brian. Yeah, well, who's this? It? I want a boyfriend who only wants to be with me. Who wants to stay home every once in a while. Who at least gets jealous when some other guy is sucking my dick right in front of him. That's not Brian. It never will be. So what do you do when you realize you made the biggest fucking mistake of your pathetic, stupid life? It was one stupid mistake! Look how many times you forgave Brian! I never forgave Brian! I never had to, because he never promised me anything. You did. That what you gave me was worth a thousand, a million times more than anything he had to offer. You would have told me that you loved me, that you would go on loving me even after I was gone. I have a great ass, and I'm blonde. You have no idea how far that gets me. Brian Kenny gives a shit. Fuck you. Well, listen up now that your hearing has returned. This queer says, fuck you. Will you listen to me? Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. You're not your father. You love your son. Now, what's it going to take for you to admit it? Another bomb. We don't need rings or vows to prove that we love each other. We already know that. 